Hi, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound with you. Thank you for joining me for another one of my spirit review videos. As you can see, we have 12 beautiful gins here that we're going to try. And we are, I was trying to stick to a London Dry style, so we're talking martinis, gin and tonic type cocktails uh, that you can be mixing with any of these. And I'm going to go ahead and quickly nose them for you, give them a little taste for you, and try and keep this video time short. Starting out with Citadel. Citadel's been getting a ton of reviews. Actually got like 95 points by Wine Enthusiast. Double gold at the 2011 San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Fair amount of citrus, very light on the alcohol. Touch of strange. The juniper note is actually pretty mild in this one. It's fairly well balanced with a. I almost get like a honeysuckle or a vanilla, slight, real light vanilla bean aroma in there. But there's a fair amount of cardamom and, um, like I said, the juniper. On to uh, Tangeray 10. Full of citrus. That's what this one's all about. A lot of grapefruit, lemon, lime type things. The juniper is very mild in this one. Okay. Next, Beef Eater 24. It's really well balanced as far as the citrus and the juniper in this one. Whereas this one was very citrus heavy, this one's finding that real nice balance there. Just a hint of cardamom in there. And uh, like I said, it's mostly the citrus is like a lemon lime in that one. Next, we're going on to New Amsterdam. This is out of California here. That one's big, bright, what is that? Lemon peel? A hint of almost like a tangerine. I guess it's an orange peel, but it's coming off as a tangerine with that much lemon. As far as the juniper, very, very mild. Again, very citrus forward in this one. Next, we're going to go with Green Hat. This is coming out of Washington, D.C., the first distillery, distillery there since uh, Prohibition, so over 100 years there. This one reminds me of a craft gin. It's a uh, fairly, it's got a fair amount of malt in it. Celery seed is coming through very nicely. Lemon and lime right up on top. And the juniper is perfectly balanced in there, so they're about all playing nice and fair there. Very lovely. Next, Bombay Sapphire. It's pretty well balanced. It's very light, though, so I'm getting a lot of the alcohol. Uh, the juniper is very mild. Hint of lemon peel. And just a hint of cardamom as well. Next we're going to go right here to the Mayfair. Hmm. Cardamom, a hint of coriander in this one. Junipers. I'd say it's uh, medium to mild. Fairly well balanced. Now we're going to Brokers. Fair amount of citrus, not as much as some of these others. Definitely a little coriander in this one. And the juniper is fairly light, fairly mild in Brokers. Next, we're going to go with the Nolet Silver. Very floral on the nose. It's um, quite unusual compared to the rest. A 
Juniper is very mild, but you do get, and it stands to reason, they do use Turkish rose, some raspberries, and white peach in the in the botanical blend here, and I think that's showing up very well in the nose. It's very, very nice and floral. Uh, just a hint of honeysuckle almost, uh, again, lemon, and the juniper is very, very light. Now, the number three, this is the berry bros and red. Okay, this one seems to be more traditional style. Juniper, hint of citrus. Alcohol is not too strong on the nose, even though that one is 92 proof. little lime in there as well. Now Oxley, this is 94 proof, they use a cold uh, distillation process where they lower the temperature and then they create the distillation so that they can get a lower boiling point to try and not have to really heat up uh, the botanicals. Wow. Very clean. The juniper is very mild. Fair amount of citrus, we're talking lemon and lime in this one. When I say very clean, I'm meaning there's not very much of the coriander and the cardamom and the fennel seed and a lot of that that you'll find in some of the others. That one's just pretty straightforward. Nice light juniper and a little bit of citrus. Bloom, now Bloom uses pomelos and they use honeysuckle in the botanical blend. Very light again, very clean. A hint of floral, that's probably that honeysuckle coming through. And there is citrus, but it is pomelo. You can tell it's not that lemon or lime. It's something almost like on the grapefruits side of things. Very nice. All right, let's get to the tasting. Citadel. Fairly soft, a little celery seed. The alcohol presence is known around mid palate. Never gets really hot. Fair amount of uh, citrus, talking lemon lime in the in the flavor. Juniper is very mild. There's, like I said, a fair bit of warmth though in that one towards the finish. All right, Tangray 10. Much, this one has a little more uh, silky palette feel than the Citadel did. It's a little more, I don't want to say less complex than the Citadel. But while it is very soft, smooth, fairly sweet for a gin, the only real flavors I get in that one are juniper, lime, and a hint of lemon. Beefeater 24, using 12 botanicals, a 24-hour maceration and uh, steeping process in this one. Very nice. Soft. A little sweet, similar to this one, but not only are you getting the juniper and the citrus, you are getting a little bit of cardamom in there. This is in that one. Mm. Yeah, very nice. The juniper note is also fairly. Um, reaching the medium level on this one. Alright, New Amsterdam. Just as the nose presented, very, very citrus forward. Wow, just breathing out, speaking is full of lemon. Full of lemon and lime. Not very much juniper, but it is fairly soft on the entry. Not too much alcohol is present. Uh, so if you're looking for a very citrus-forward gin, 
that may be the one to go to, especially if you're not used to the big juniper notes. Okay, green hat. Coriander, hint of cardamom, lemon, is it a little lime? Maybe a little lime. Like I said, fair amount of malt. That's the first thing that hits you. Almost like a, um, I'm, here, I'm from Texas. I think of Texas sage when I taste that one. It's very, um, It's very botanical herb heavy on that one. Um, may not be for everybody. I'm not sure how it's going to mix with tonic or in a martini, but hopefully we'll have time to be able to check and see. Bombay Sapphire. On that one, it's a lot of coriander, a lot of fennel seed. Well, it's very soft. It's not very sweet. It's more of a, I don't know, like a nutty flavor going on. It reminds me kind of an earthy type gin. Um, fairly dry. Fair amount of warmth comes on mid palate. And that's that one. Perhaps not my favorite, but it is a London dry style. All right. Moving forward to the Mayfield. Very, very nice. This is, so far, probably the most put-together London Dry, in my opinion. It's very light, semi-sweet. Uh, the juniper note is, is there, but it's fairly mild. A lot of botanicals coming through. Coriander in this one, a hint of cardamom, not very much. Maybe a touch of celery seed but very clean and light on the finish. Alcohol never really builds in that one. Now we're going to move forward to Brokers. Hmm. Definitely has some warmth to it, a little bit of spice coming through. Juniper note is very light. Fair amount of, of like a hint of cardamom again, but a fair amount of coriander. So think of coriander seed. That's a pretty big player in this one. Like I said, fair amount of warmth comes on mid palate and it's lasting through the finish. Let's get this out of the way. Sorry about that. World's best gin. It's good gin. Not sure if I would call it the world's best. And now we're gonna go with Nolet Silver. different. The Turkish rose is, comes through right away and you, that's what you get, that floral, that rose aroma. Juniper is not very, <laughs> it's not really forward at all. The peach is there. The peach and the rose are the two dominating players here. A hint of cardamom in the back. And juniper is so far in the background, but it is there, but it's so light. It's very unusual, very different, but it should make for interesting cocktails. The rose is tremendous on that one, heavy. All right, the number three. Hmm. That one reminds me of the Mayfield, Mayfair, sorry. It may be um, a little bit stronger on the juniper. Citrus notes are maybe a little bit brighter. Very well-rounded gin. Botanicals well represented. Cardamom, coriander. Hint of fennel seed as well. Celery seed. It's pretty much all there on the number three. Uh, there is a tad bit of warmth coming in towards the finish, but it's very nice. 
the Oxley. Very clean, very light, mildly sweet. Juniper's coming on, but it's very stays on the light side. Citrus is there, lemon lime. Very nice. That should mix very well in a gin and tonic. All right, now we're going with bloom. Super light. A little bit of warmth coming on mid palate, lasting through the finish. A little bit of that ethanol coming on. But as far as the juniper note, very mild. I would say that the uh, the strong player there is going to be the the uh, grapefruit or the pomelo that they use, and it leaves the essence of uh, flowers like a floral note going on in your palate. But other heavy so it's on that side. Now when we talk tonic water really quick when you're mixing your gins with tonic there's two big players out there right now Q-Tonic and Fever Tree. Uh, both are different in their own respects. Fever Tree goes for a little bit of the sweeter side a little more of a, you know you can drink that one very easily uh, by itself. Q-Tonic is going more for a traditional style uh, that's where they're using uh, you know the, the bark and the the, um, uh, what is it, the quinine uh, bark is actually being used very heavily in this one. And it's it's fairly nice, but it is a, ten, a tad on the bitter side. So I'm going to crack these real quick. I've been keeping them cold on the side. Q-tonic. and fever tree. On the fever tree, a lot of grapefruit. And fairly uh, drying, but very nice. On the Q-tonic, hardly, very little citrus. So I think if you're going to go with you needed to add citrus to a gin, or you really like doing lime and lemon in your gin and tonics, Fever Tree is the way to go. If you want to just taste more of the gin and maybe uh, soften a little bit of the citrus, like in the Tangeray Tin or the New Amsterdam, then Q Tonic would be the way to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour a little bit of this in each of these so we can kind of see how they're working. Usually you do a two to one ratio when you're mixing your gin and tonics. That's what I'm gonna try and do right there. Okay. Quickly. Citadel. Hmm. Strange how it got a, a bit of a salty note going on there. Tangeray tin, it's citrusy, not too exciting. Beef eater, 24. That's balancing very nice. That makes a, a great gin and tonic. New Amsterdam, again, heavily citrus forward. Very little juniper, so when you're mixing that with fever tree, it's just a citrus heavy gin and tonic. Uh, green Hat Gin, the malt power is right on through, um, the juniper is still represented, the lemon still shining very uh, brightly in this one, Bombay Sapphire, I don't know why, but Citadel and Bombay get this really salty uh, feeling when it's mixed with Fever Tree right off the bat. The alcohol's there, the juniper's there, but not very interesting to me. 
Alright. Mayfair. That's a great gin and tonic. Again, very light on the juniper, but a lovely note as far as the, the way the citrus and the juniper is blending with the uh, fever tree tonic. The Brokers. That one's actually mixing very well. The botanicals that were coming on a little too strong on the uh, when I was tasting them neat uh, tend to really enhance the, the tonic water there. No lit silver. One of a kind. Again, it's just that rose and that peach flavor that are just so dominating, even in the gin and tonic. It totally changes what you traditionally feel the gin and tonic should be. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing, just a little unusual, and uh, maybe a cha good change of pace. Uh, the number three. Again, similar to the Mayfair, just a little bit bolder on the juniper note. Makes a great gin and tonic. To me, so far, the most traditional style of gin and tonics would be uh, the Mayfair and the number three. Beefeater 24 is right up there. The Oxley. Mm. Fantastically clean on the gin and tonic. Uh, the lemon's still there, the lime's still there, a little bit of uh, juniper. Mixing very well with the uh, Fever Tree Tonic. And lastly, the Bloom. Very light, very refreshing. That, to me, is a very nice drink. I think um, it's very feminine in the way it feels as far as the gin and tonic. Um, I think that could be a very big star player uh, if you're presenting to a party where maybe you have a you know more females in attendance than males, that's a great option there. So that's it for today. Thank you so very much for uh, watching another YouTube video of mine. Everybody uh, have a great evening and cheers.